In fact, this film Berlin is in Germany for me was inspired by a book from the Weimar Republic, which is Alfred Döblin, Berlin Alexander Platz. Berlin is in Germany sets in in the year 2000, which means 11 years after the fall, the fall of the Berlin Wall. Um, Goodbye Lenin plays in the GDR or at the end of the GDR and the life of others plays also in the GDR. That's the main difference. For me, to be honest, it's also not a film. It's the, the GDR system and the, and the question of East and West plays a role in the film Berlin is in Germany, but not the main role. For if I would ha have to name as the, as the screenwriter and direct the, 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 what this film is about, and it's about change really. I think a city is like a person. Yeah. Not all persons are equal. You know, they, they are, they, they, we, maybe we should be, uh, all persons are different. They have different personalities. So in a way, we have a divided curriculum in films. We have West German point of view on Berlin, West Berlin and uh, East Berlin view on so. And there are interesting films from the DEFA, you know, from the old GDR uh, system also. Although I'm not really, uh, a lover of the GDR system, I, I must admit, because in my point of view, it was a dictatorship. I do recognize, of course, that they have very interesting films like Konrad Wolf or Wolfgang Kohlhase. Or, and, and I don't want to be the priest. I want to be the clown who say, look, let's laugh at this. Laughing is the best invention of the German culture. And laughing is the most, what differs us from, from the animals, from the plants, from everything. That's the biggest, what we have is our laughter is that's that's mankind laughing <laughs>